I told you once, I told you a thousand times. You put the gangs back in their cases when you're done with them. That's what this is about? Welcome to the second episode of Cinema Sabotage. I'm your host, David Worley, and today we're going to show you how to shoot people. So why not? So what you guys are going to want to do is open your compositing software. I'm using HitFilm. And select the shot where the gun will shoot. And place it on top of your footage. A great place to get muzzle flashes for free is that footage crate, which I've left a link for in the description. Go ahead and track your gun. This will be explained in greater detail in a later tutorial. Afterwards, adjust the muzzle flash over the position it's supposed to be, and link flash to tracking point. Go to Layer Properties and change Blend to Add. Then go to Opacity and change it to about 55%. Now the muzzle flash is done, but let's go the extra mile and make this thing look as real as possible. To do this, go to Footage Crate or wherever you get your effects and get a smoke layer. Now when you get your smoke layer, it will most likely have a black background. To fix this, go to Effects, Demalt, and place it over the effect. Scale and position the smoke to the gun, then turn the smoke's contrast all the way down. Now scroll to the frame where you want the smoke to start disappearing, and go to Transform and Opacity. Click the bullet point next to Opacity and go ahead 5 frames in advance and set the Opacity to 0. This will animate the smoke fading out of a scene and disappearing. Now go to the beginning of the muzzle flash and select New Layer. Grab a plain layer and set it to black. Then go to Effects and search for the Radial Gradient effect. Grab it and place it on top of the plane. Go to Controls, Radial Gradient, and turn Smooth all the way up. Change the color of the inner and outer radius to that of your muzzle flash. Then go to Position and select the track you used to track your gun's barrel. Go to the inner radius and drop the radius down to zero. Then go to Outer Radius and drop the radius small enough where it covers the gun's barrel. Transform the plane layer to screen, go to the beginning of the shot, and go to opacity. Scroll about three frames into the video and set opacity to zero. Then go to select new layer and grab a grade layer, and set it on top of the original shot. After you've selected the grade layer, look to the left of the screen and select the free hand tool, and select everywhere the muzzle flash may create light. Go to Effects and drop Gamma onto the gray layer. Adjust the Gamma settings to make a bright yellow color, then go back into Effects and select Brightness and Contrast. Then go to Contrast and turn it up to look like so. Then go to Path and select the little bullet point. Now go frame by frame, dragging the mask over the target. You should only do this for about three frames or so. Next, go to Map, Shape, and then Feather Strength and adjust accordingly. Then go to where the grade first begins, and go to Opacity, and select the bullet point next to it. Skip ahead to 3 frames and change Opacity to 0. That's it for this episode of Cinema Sabotage. Did you like it? Did you do this effect? If so, please send it to me so I'll have it at the end of the next episode. And also, don't forget to comment, I'll respond to as many as possible. Also, subscribe, please. I, I need subscribers. I need you, please. You, you right there. Just click the subscribe button. It's down there. Or maybe it'll be off to the side. I don't know. Maybe YouTube will have a crazy update next month or something. It'll be right there. But just click subscribe, please. <laughs>